Well, certainly it was a cruel finish to the season for the Aztecs, who had a record-breaking year and were in a position to make their deepest March run in program history. NBC7 sports anchor Darnay Tripp caught up with one player who's still processing the sudden end of the team season and his college career. March is usually one of the best months to post up on the couch and watch sports, thanks, of course, to the NCAA tournament. In fact, tonight's the night that millions of fans would have watched the national championship game. They're not doing that this year. There haven't been any games the last three weeks except replays of old ones and constant reminders of what teams like the Aztecs have missed out on. I'm seeing a lot of it on my feed right now, but... I mean, what can you do? Yanni Wetzel and just about everyone else is asking that question during one of the strangest periods of time we've experienced. Everyone's going to remember this pandemic for the rest of our lives. The San Diego State big man will look back on it as the reason he and his team missed out on one of the coolest opportunities of their lives. We've had such a great run and then the ability to have put ourselves in positions to be a one or two seed um, and to have that taken away. Um, you know, it's just pretty devastating stuff. Wetzel knew there was a chance the tournament could be canceled when the NCAA announced plans to play it without fans. I called my parents because they had planned to come up here. And I said, hey, this thing might not even go through. One day later, the big dance was called off. I was very emotional the first day I heard it. It was a very hard time in my life, especially because I had spent five years um, working to this point. I'm a senior. Um, so I don't get another shot of this. Wetzel played for two other schools before San Diego State. He, like guard KJ Fagan, had never made it to the tournament. They transferred to SDSU for their senior seasons in hopes of finally experiencing March Madness. This is probably the worst time of my life. This could have happened in my 23 years. It's frustrating, but what can you do? Like the rest of us, Yanni is finding new ways to stay busy. The time spent on the court has been replaced in part by time spent in the kitchen. I made a shrimp linguine the other day. I was pretty proud of. <laughs> what he'd like to be doing is figuring out the next step of his basketball career. But that's also on hold as the NBA decides what to do with the draft in June. It's all kind of a waiting game. So Yanni is left with plenty of time for his mind to wander back to the season they had. That's special regardless of us not getting to finish it off. And the opportunity they lost. We were capable of beating any team in the country on any given day, so I think we were capable of winning it all. We would have had all our pieces, and uh, we definitely could have made a great run, but, you know, it's, it's all a what if. Yanni didn't just miss out on the NCAA tournament this year. He also hoped to compete in the Olympics, which, of course, are now on hold. But next year, he'll try to make New Zealand's national team and help them qualify for the 2021 Summer Games. Mark, Catherine, back to you. And Yanni could have returned home to New Zealand, but he said concern for his dad's health was one reason he did not. He said his dad is elderly and has underlying issues with bronchitis. Instead of risking he and his family's health, he decided it was best just to stay in the States and prepare for his pro career.